TheEdgeOnAir.com. They fight over who has the best looks. It's the Hoppy and Super Rich Show right here on TheEdgeOnAir.com. This is the Hoppy and Super Rich Show. Call us, 630-785-2510. It's 630-785-2510. Tweet at us in real time if you want us to read your tweets while we are yep. here. I'm on Twitter right now. I'm Lombard. waiting. I- I'm waiting. What's your Twitter handle? At Ryan Stuffrich, S T U P R I C H. You, sh- you should just say, I'm at Ryan S T U P Rich. All right, well, if, if that sounds bad. Well, yeah, but then some people might get kind of confused. Well, then they're dummies. I don't I'm know not, if it's easier or, 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 or I don't know if it's easier or harder to do it that way, but you know. Yeah. I'm at Twitter at Hobby Radio 893 and Ryan, it's time for Super Rich News. It is. So what's coming up on Super Rich News? Well, everybody loves prom and prom season's coming up soon. Did you go to prom? I did not. I was the loser who couldn't get a prom date, but I wasn't going to hold me, me back. Me too. Like, there's just one prom ever. So, like, I went to prom by myself. You know, it was fun. I, I just didn't care. I, 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 I hung out with my friend Mark in his garage slash basement. So. Yeah. You <laughs> but, did? Uh, yeah. Uh, um, no, but the funny part was yeah. it was awkward because at the table of that prom, <laughs> I love it. They have eight seats. Mm-hmm. And now, who usually goes to the prom? It's a couple, two people. Right. So you have eight people at a table, four couples. Mm-hmm. Now imagine the awkwardness. Wait, did, did you go by yourself or yes. did you go with like some friends? I went by myself. Oh, no. No, my mom was trying to hook me up with this girl from a uh, church. Well, you should have done that. At, at least no. you, you could have. No. Well, was I she didn't hot? Know her. I mean, she wasn't bad looking, but I didn't know her. I was like, no. I had a piece of time because I got to grind with all the girls while they were like, well, all the guys were getting water because they were going so hard. It was yeah. funny. There was guys that were drenched. Like, they were running some, like, uh-huh. military run. Like, they were <laughs> drenched. The best part was, though, I got to sit with my friends, but there were nine people at a table, and they had to, like, squish. <laughs> and I'm big as it is. There's a six big 6'6 six, six guy coming in. <laughs> this giant. And everyone's way. <laughs> I mean, it's just, it's just entertaining, you know? Like, it's yeah. just like, prom was all right. You have to party all, though. I went to bed at like 6 a.m. That was great. Yeah. That was fun. Uh, I'm sure My friend's fun. basement, just playing charades. <laughs> yeah, I'm so what I'm, is this? I'm sure that was all that, uh, that was going on. <laughs> so here, uh, d- distressed parents, prom dresses too short, too sexy. There was this one girl who was really attractive. Like, she was hot. Mm-hmm. And I was looking at her, and everyone's like, wow, she looks good. I was just going, wow, how did her dad let her leave the house like that? <laughs> like, she was like. I was like, wow, you look like a 9 out of 10. Like She was that fine, but you're going, man. Well, it is prom, too. I know, but like, I would not let my daughter wear something that short. I was like, wow. Yeah. Are you going to prom or are you going to a T.I. concert? <laughs> T.I.? <Yeah. laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so the, this story comes from CNN. Um, for Holly Manson, a mom of three teens in Oakland... Maine, o- not Oakland, California. <laughs> That's what to say. That doesn't sound safe. Well, because I saw <laughs> Oakland and I just assumed it would be Oakland, California, but it says Oakland, comma Maine. Like I could imagine the arguments that go on with teens from Oakland. Yeah, I want to twerk in my <laughs> prom. <laughs> One simple saying has made the difference between absolute de- uh, between absolute dread during prom season and actually yeah. welcoming the rite of passage. And here's a quote. I always told my girls to dress classy, not trashy. And so when they make their clothing choices, they tend to go towards the classy stuff, said Manson, who responded to a request for comment on CNN's What Facebook does she mean page. by classy? You like want to wear like a wedding dress where it goes all the way down to the legs and it like drags <laughs> on or dress well, up like a nun? No, like, what I, does she mean? You by... know, probably, you know, thigh high or whatever. You know, certain. That's l- a l- good outfit. I love that outfit. Like I know at, at my high school, you, you couldn't, um, like, you can't wear shorts that are like, Shorter than when you put your arms down. Yeah, you know, it, the, yeah, I, I I think all schools have that. My that high school sort. tried to control it, but man, girls, oh yeah, no, they, it doesn't work. But you know, you also, but you still have the rule. You would be in the hall, and you would like see that one girl that just was wearing the skimpiest outfit, just get caught on by the dean, and she's like, <sighs> like she would like groan, <laughs> <laughs> like walk over, like the walk of shame, like just yeah. all frustrated. Yeah. Uh. It's a saying, she says, that just popped into her head around the time her girls now 14, 18, and her son oh, yeah. 16 started middle school. And that, that phrase, again, was uh, dress classy, not trashy, which a lot of people use. I've, you know, I've oh, my God. I've heard that a million before. times. Yeah. Uh, all the inappropriate clothing Manson saw while out shopping with her kids inspired the mantra. To be honest with you, that one phrase has saved us so many headaches, she says. Oh, I bet. I just bet. 
Many other parents around the country haven't been so lucky. Trips to the mall in spring are st- are steeped in a potent mix of prom angst. Teenage girls shopping for the perfect dress, you selections bordering on the wildly inappropriate to many parents, and a culture sexualizing girls at younger and younger ages. Man, having a daughter must be awful because when I got my suit, went to Perfect Outfitters or something. I forget the name of it. I wish I had it. It was a good place. It's on. Um, it's in Schaumburg on like Meacham Road. And you rented like a suit and whatever. Yeah, I left. Yeah. I wanted to be home immediately. I wasn't like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. I have to of... try it on, see if it fits, to look in the like... mirror, ask for my mom's opinion, twirl around a little bit. And then ask everyone <laughs> else's opinion because my mom's opinion doesn't matter even though she knows the best. I don't want to admit it. Mother, oh, my God. Mother knows best, right? No, I just mean like it's easy. Like even girls in general, they take forever to make a decision. Like here's a few examples. Example one, like girls take forever to shop. Like mm-hmm. when I'm with my mom, if I buy an iPhone cord – like, let's say every month I break my iPhone charger. I go into Marshall's, I buy a new one, then I'm out of there. Right. My mom has to look at the sales, see if there's anything else good. I'm like, no, nah, I just want to get out of there. Well, that's how t- girls are in general because they love to shop, and they'll give any excuse they can to shop. Right. Like, a lot of times I'll go with my mom to, like, the mall be like, oh, I just have to return something, like, three hours later. Like, we're finally leaving the mall. <laughs> right. It's just like <laughs> – I'll go to the mall and I'll leave when I want. I, I don't need to force myself. To yeah, like, I mean, I get free food out of it. But, you know, other than that, it's just it kind of sucks just to sit there. Another example of how girls can never make up their mind. Dude, I've noticed this lately. It's a bit off topic, but I want to bring it up. Whenever you're like driving on the highway or driving on your way to school or driving on the road and a girl or no, when you see a car go into the next lane and go for a turn, they never do it. They never, ever use her turn signals. <laughs> Why do you think it's there? It's like a little cute decoration, like the little turn signal. It's just like a little nod that you turn. Why do you think the car makers put it in there? Why well, did they pay so to the have cars all... behind you can see if you're turning or not. So many times, and then they are like in the middle of the lane, and they're probably just looking back to like quadruple check that there's no car coming. There's no car coming. Switch in the lane. They're like quadruple checking their blind spot and they can never go in the next lane mm-hmm. and they don't use their turn well signal. it's called a blind spot for a reason you're not well I, i'm not i'm not saying you're not supposed to see it but there's a reason why it's called a blind spot it's it's very difficult to see through your blind but spot once you look once so you put on your blinker to make sure no cars are coming and then you just sort of look. look the best you can and then go because you have your blinker on and you know the cars behind you aren't dumb enough to girls realize. get like scared dude <laughs> They're, like, scared to turn. I don't know what it is. It's never a guy that does that. It's always a girl that's afraid to go in the next lane. It's the most aggravating thing. <laughs> I swear, man. I, I don't want to ma- die. Right? I get mad on the road over the dumbest things. Yeah. Like, I yeah, I can see that. I, 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 I just get annoyed. I'm like, why do you think it's there? Just today you were pretty mad because uh, that that person wasn't going the speed limit. <laughs> They were going under the speed limit. You're like, geez. They just like move to the other lane, oh, speed yeah, up you... in front of them. <laughs> then you turn, give them a dirty look, and keep going. <laughs> yeah, you've seen that. Yeah. Today we're coming back from Duncan. I got some coffee before the show. And um, it's great. This girl is going under the speed limit here on, um, what's the name of this road at ICB? Uh, Finley Road. Yeah, here on Finley Road. Dude, these people. I could be here more on time at school. I usually come late. I'm usually here by 945. I could be here by 942 if it wasn't for these people who are going under the speed limit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They're going absolutely under the speed limit, and then I miss the light. Especially when you're getting off at Butterfield Road. I always miss that light. Yeah, I know what you mean. And and then you have to wait forever. Ugh, it's the worst. (laughs) Yeah. But one more point. Mm Mm-hmm. Just, it was funny today. We're going under the speed limit. This girl was going under the speed limit, and I go around her. And I just hate when they don't even acknowledge you. Right. Like they don't even look, and you're just like, get out of my way. And you go around them purposely. You mm-hmm. go right on the pedal. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. And you look at them. Yeah. Like, yeah, I'm a badass. All right. All right. So what else does this prom thing say? We were just talking about how girls do annoying things, and we went on a rant about cars. <laughs> So what does it say about prom now? Uh, In some cases, schools are not leaving it up to the parents and are imposing their own dress codes for prom, which I think most schools do. Uh, They try to control that, but I mean... Yeah, but... But this doesn't happen in a school building. This is also the end of the school year, and a lot of the people who go to prom are seniors, so, you know, there's not a whole lot you can do as far as rules, but... Uh, one Northern California Catholic high school, this is a Catholic high school, by the way, sent an email to parents announcing that attire for junior and senior prom should be moderate and reflect and reflect pride in both the person and the school. 
So are they wearing like what non-outfits? pride does a Catholic school have? Yeah, they're wearing non outfits. <laughs> like what pride do you have? Like your priests are all good people. Yeah, <laughs> yeah sure. Uh, the email obtained by CNN also uh, included pictures of dresses deemed acceptable and those considered inappropriate. On the ban list were low cut. And backless dresses, no backless dresses, that's a shame. And dresses oh, with very high uh, hemlines. Manson, the main mom of three, doesn't think dress codes are the answer. Here's a quote. I know the town over from us requires uh, that their dresses have a strap, she said in a laugh. It has to have a strap, but it's okay if it comes up to their butt cheek. Okay? <laughs> I love how they say butt cheek. What are you in, fourth grade? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, the boys don't have many variations of the traditional tux to choose from when planning prom attire, so they typically don't have to deal with others judging them due to their clothing choice. But when kids dress in ways that are gender non-conforming, or even when a boy wants to wear a kilt, a kilt? Who wears a kilt to prom? What is this, 1980 again? It's not Halloween. Uh, they can get into trouble with the school administrators, which is possible, yes. I'm looking at a kill right now. I thought it was something completely different. What is this, the 1800s? What are we going to a Renaissance 1800s fair? 1800s Scotland. <laughs> yeah. 1800 Scotland here. You should just do that voice all day long. Should I read the next paragraph in that voice? No. No. Another frustration I heard from parents and even some teens is there are is there just aren't enough moderate options, both in terms of sexiness and price. You know what? Available in stores and online. You're just a lazy parent. It's not like you go to these dress shops and they're all skimpy, low cut dresses. If you look hard enough, you can wear it. Mm-hmm. So there's I, I no agree. excuse. You're just lazy because you just go to one shop and you go to like the. What's the clean word? Like the most skimpiest place. I'll just keep saying skimpiest place. Like the places that have all the hot employees. Yeah. Like you know the place I'm talking about. Like, oh, yeah, yeah. There's like a few in the mall. They're yeah. like, they like Blair. Let's take a selfie. Now, that type of place, <laughs> I don't think it's going to have moderate clothing. Like, like Aeropostal, a, American Eagle, places like that. I, do they have dresses? I don't even know. I don't even know. Who cares? You know, I, I, I don't I, go close up. I go to Old Navy. Yeah, I, know, I, 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 I never really you know shop for my clothes. Everyone Usually my mom will just, like, pick up a shirt or something. You know, I, I, I don't really go shopping. So My great point was just there's no reason to ever complain about, True. oh, my God, it's so hard to find a dress. Trust me, they make them. You just have to look for it. You don't even need them for me. Okay. Uh, a 17-year-old named Angela, currently shopping for a prom dress, says it's not that most teenagers want to wear revealing prom dresses. It's because, it's because they often have no other choice. Uh, I feel as if... It is not that teenager tastes have grown too sexy, but that the fashion market as a whole encourages young people to dress in a provocative way. And this was uh, said by Angela, the 17-year-old girl who is currently shopping for a prom dress. Sounds good. (laughs) Uh, And the uh, article goes on to say that uh, maybe some some kids are growing up too fast in this day and age. Uh, so many parents, this reporter among them, are concerned about how our girls are growing up so much faster than when we were kids. Oh, my God. It's so true. Like These kids nowadays, dude, they have Twitter accounts. Yeah. Twitter's not the place to be. Twitter has pornographic photos tweeted by U.S. Airways. It's not exactly the greatest place to have your kid on. Yeah, I heard about that. You, did you see the picture? I didn't see the picture, but you I heard about it. it. Dude, it's, I didn't know. I thought it was going to be like an awful tweet or like racist or offensive. Did when you I, push like a link? Like it's a link? No, there are people that like screenshotted it. A oh, bunch okay. of people. I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> like it, You'll have to like, show me during the break. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Yeah, uh, so let's see. Uh, clearly, we can't blame prom dresses as the single cause, but they're a factor, and I guess they are. Uh, and then going back to uh, Manson, who is uh, the main mom of three, said the issue is not just about the dress and whether it's too short or too sexy. It's about how teenage girls portray themselves as well, which is true. Uh, not every parent considers shopping for a teenage daughter's prom dress about as welcome as a root canal doing taxes or cleaning the bathroom. Um, she credit and, uh, clothes shopping, shoe shopping, all the things that are important to my daughter. They're important to me. The father of three uh, and author of the book bobblehead dad said, so dads are chiming in on this too. Oh yeah. I bet the dads love it. <laughs> and, uh, you know, she, uh, credits her happiness. Uh, and this is that girl that we were talking about earlier. She credits her happy experiences with planning. 
and plain luck. Her daughter has uh, the kind of retro style and doesn't gravitate to the provocative stuff. Um, and so, so that's a, that, so, so that's a good thing, obviously. Um, yeah. And that's, that's all right. It. Ryan, are there any parents out there or any kids going to prom and you're having an argument over that skimpy outfit? Call us six, three, zero, seven, eight, five, two, five, one. Oh, what's it again? I just got a brain loss and I forgot uh, that that would be six, three, oh, cause we are in the six, three, oh area. Code. Oh, geez. Uh, seven, eight, five, two, five, one, oh, all right. We will be right back on the hoppy and super show. Hang on. The Hoppy and Super Red Show. This is the edgeonair.com. ICB Lombard's own underground station. For artist interviews, videos, and photos, visit the edgeonair.com.